Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Super User. Earlier I have showed you how to set up a desktop using a Raspberry Pi and some additional peripherals like monitor, keyboard, mouse, etc. But in case they are not available or for any other reason you do not want to make a detailed setup, today I am going to show you how to use your laptop as a host for Raspberry Pi. We are going to use Secure Shell that is SSH and Virtual Network Computing that is VNC. SSH is a cryptographic network protocol for operating network services securely over an unsecured network remotely. What we need is a Raspberry Pi, an adapter for power supply, a SD card booted with Raspberry OS, a SD card adapter and of course a laptop. I have Ubuntu as host OS in my laptop but procedure that I am going to use can be used for Windows or any Linux based OS. So let's get started. First plug in your Raspberry booted SD card in your laptop and open the booted partition. Open terminal at this location. Create an empty file named ssh with no extension. Windows users can simply create a text file in boot partition as ssh.txt and then remove extension.txt from the name. Now we will download few essential softwares. Open a browser. Type VNC Viewer. Click on this link. Select Linux for Linux users or you can choose accordingly. Here choose Debian 64. Windows users should select standalone 64 or 86 depending on your configuration and then download. Download is completed. Open it. Install. Now we are going to download Putty Client. It is a terminal emulator that supports SSH protocol. In Ubuntu software, Search Putty Client. Click here. I have already installed it. So close this window and open Applications menu. Here we have Putty Client and VNC Viewer. Windows users will have to install one more software that is an IP scanner. I have given all the links and resources in description. Now look at this file named WPS applicant. I have given this code in description. Copy this code to your text editor and replace your SSID with the name or SSID of Wi-Fi network and here in place of your password type the password of your Wi-Fi. Now save it and close it. Add .conf extension to the name of this file. Windows users will have to erase the .txt extension first. And after this, copy that file to boot partition. What this will do is, as soon as you boot Raspberry Pi, it will connect to your Wi-Fi. Now remember, this is crucial that your laptop and Raspberry Pi are connected to same Wi-Fi network. Now eject the SD card and insert it in the Raspberry Pi and power it on. We need the IP address of our Raspberry module. For that, from my laptop, I will scan all the networks connected to the Wi-Fi that my laptop is connected to. For that, open the terminal and type command ifconfig. The second network here named WLP1S0 is our Wi-Fi network. Yours might be named differently. This right here is the IP address of the network my laptop is connected to. For Windows users, to view IP address of your network, click on the Wi-Fi icon on taskbar and right click on the network you are connected to. In properties, you will find the IP address. IP range on a network is from 0 to 254. We are going to scan that range for IP of Raspberry Pi using Nmap. Those who don't have Nmap installed, type sudo apt-get install nmap and now scan the IP range. Type nmap space hyphen sn space 
and then define the IP range from 0 to 254. Enter. Looks like that didn't work. Let's try again. And here we got it. This is my phone's IP. This is my laptop's IP. Which leaves this to be of Raspberry Pi. Note it down. Windows users can use IP scanner to scan the IPs. I provided the link in description. Now open Putty Client. In here, type the IP address of Raspberry Pi. Check SSH connection and choose port 22. Open. Accept. Login as Pi. By default, password is Raspberry. We have established a SSH connection with Raspberry Pi. Type sudo space raspi hyphen config. Enter. Go on interfacing options and enable SSH and VNC. Now go to advanced options and set the resolution according to your screen. Use arrow keys to navigate. Finish. Now open VNC. Type the IP of Raspberry. Enter. Continue. In place of username, type pi and password is raspberry click ok and there we go it's working perfectly do a small setup and we are ready to go that's it for today Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was helpful. If you have any queries, ask me in comments. Also suggest what you would like to see in my next video. Please like and share it. Also subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming videos. See you next time.